You know the old rhyme, in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Well, he wrote a letter about it in 1493, and then yada yada yada, 500 years go by, and the U.S. has to give that letter back to the Vatican. Here's what happened. After Columbus supposedly discovered the New World, he decided to tell his sponsors, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain. He praised the fertile land and described natives who were timid and ripe for conversion to Christianity. The letter was immediately translated to Latin and reprinted in Rome. The Vatican got a copy and held it in their library for safekeeping. Accumulated through the centuries behind the walls of the Vatican Library, is the greatest and most important collection of ancient manuscripts in the world. Or so they thought. Somewhere along the way, the original copy was swiped and replaced with a forgery. Rebel, 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 cut camera! I should have known you'd have something like that up your sleeve. In 2004, an actuary from Atlanta purchased the letter from a rare book dealer in New York, unaware that it had been stolen from the Vatican. After an investigation by the U.S. Attorney's Office and Homeland Security, the stolen letter was located. And this week, U.S. Ambassador Callista Gingrich presented the five-century-old document to Vatican officials at a ceremony in the Vatican Library. We can only hope the library doesn't charge a late fee. This is InsideEdition.com.